don't know, cycle cart was popular in like the early 1910s through the 1920s, and we wanted to bring it back. We all love living in the past, so we may as well bring it to the future. I had this crazy vision of these big ellipses that we would race each other around in these little tiny cars, and then I would kind of change it into this figure eight race. Um, and I've wanted, I wanted to inspire my community and my friends and the, other, the community outside of my community to build something so that we can race each other. The total area is gonna be 50 by 100, figure eight. So maybe you're waiting at the figure eight crossing. Meanwhile, somebody else comes and slips by you. Their car isn't as fast as yours or doesn't corner as well or who knows what. Figure eight, which is a challenge in itself if you try to imagine what it's like to cross in the middle. Pinpoint timing and acceleration, stopping power. <laughs> I'm not convinced there'll be a lot of real racing because I'm afraid there'll be plenty of carnage. And I personally have put in three solid weeks of this, and I will cry if things break. Klaus talked to me about making a pedal car, and I jumped right in. Yeah, we're all getting excited about racing crazy things we made. To make it even more exciting, the figure eight is gonna be um, intimidating. You've gotta be looking ahead and looking behind you and next to you, and. I'm assuming I'm going to be looking for an exit strategy, as in, in when this all goes. We sat down one night and we tried to come up with like an acronym. Um, and we came up with a bunch of different acronyms. And the Fun Bike Unicorn Club was the only one that really stuck with us. I mean, there's really, it's all about just fun bikes and I guess unicorns. Now we're all addicted to unicorns. Um, what I've decided to do was actually create both wheels driving at the same time. Um, so I have two free wheels and then I'm going to split the axle right here. These guys will go through a turn and they'll lift up their outside tire and then they'll lose traction automatically. I'm hoping to eliminate that by trying this free wheel thing and I have no idea if it's going to work. Uh, this uh, vehicle is currently dubbed the Little Buddy. Yeah, and this is my tensioner. It's a you know, a wedge-shaped two-by-four pounded in there at just the right spot. That's actually a protective film. These are just some universal joints uh, that are actually taped together. But it, it turns the vehicle like, oh. It's just my socket connection. So yeah, that'll take more uh, protective film to put that back together for more riding. Now, I build a lot of bicycles, and for me, this project is interesting because it requires a different kind of front end with two wheels steering, and it requires a steering shaft and steering arms, and I combine my, my hand brake lever and a shifter, so I shift and stop at the same hand. I've been going to get beer at the corner store with it a whole bunch, which is really great. Like in the road, in the lane, at the stoplight. Hot rod guys are like pulling up and going like, yeah. Anybody who's got a little gumption and a little bit of time uh, and a little bit of money for materials would be really surprised with themselves. I mean, it's a big part of it is creating a community where we can all build something together and race each other and you know, that competition. And also inspiring people to do something other than, as Todd says, watch TV all day.